Hello! Today I'm going to talk about the Holodomor, the famine that occurred in Ukraine during the early 1930s. Particularly, I'm going to talk about why the mainstream narrative that's used to paint it as a man-made famine is flimsy at best. If you're not familiar with this narrative, it kind of goes like this. Stalin engineered a famine in order to crush Ukrainian nationalism. Now, this is kind of taken for granted by, well, everybody. It's never really analyzed all too well. And why should it be? If this were disproven, then the entire argument of the famine being man-made would just boil down to Stalin orchestrated this famine just because, which is ridiculous and would lead people to look at other, much more plausible explanations such as massive droughts, wheat rust, sabotage by kulaks, etc, etc. Now, firstly, where did this so-called man-made famine occur? If it really was intentionally made to break the back of Ukrainian nationalism, then the Soviet authorities would have logically limited it to only Ukraine, right? Wrong. The extent of the famine spread over an area much larger than Ukraine. It also affected Kazakhstan, Moldova, the Caucasus, the Volga region, the southern Urals, and even western Siberia. In fact, this supposedly man-made famine extended beyond the borders of the Soviet Union, affecting Bulgaria and Turkey even. A rational person may assume that Possibly this could be due to weather conditions or droughts, but this is a topic for another video. Nevertheless, the famine surely, surely must have been its worst in Ukraine since, again, Stalin wanted to get rid of Ukrainian nationalism, right? Wrong again. The worst hit area was actually Kazakhstan, if we consider the amount of people affected by the famine. Proportionally to the population, Kazakhstan was hurt more by this famine than Ukraine, yet no one's talking about Stalin wanting to break the pack of Kazakh nationalism mainly because such a claim would be nonsense, but I digress. Let's suppose this man-made famine only happened in Ukraine. It didn't, as I've already shown, but let's just speculate. If the Soviet authorities really wanted to crush Ukrainian nationalism, logically, they would have targeted the parts where Ukrainian nationalism was strongest, right? Wrong yet again. Many of the areas most affected by the famine were, strangely, parts with a significant Russian minority. Now, why would a supposedly man-made famine targeting Ukrainian nationalists hit ethnic Russians, or at least people who identify as Russians? Maybe this man-made claim isn't so sound after all. Traditionally, Ukrainian nationalists were most active in the far west of the country, but this area was the least affected by this supposedly man-made famine made to target them specifically. Strange, isn't it? Something to keep in mind is that there's a lot of talk of Ukrainian nationalism here, but let's just analyze this for a second. Even though there are many ethnic Ukrainians in the most affected areas, many identified Russians as Nasha, meaning our own. Many didn't even want an independent Ukraine at all, and referred to the Soviet Union as our rich land, and referred to Galicia, the center of Ukrainian nationalism, as Poland. This further casts a little doubt on the crushing Ukrainian nationalism narrative. Now, I'm not denying or affirming that this famine was man-made, by the way. I'm just throwing some things out there for people to think about. Thanks for watching.